So you can be watching TV, sitting in front of the computer doing work, doesn't matter. You will actually still be burning more calories than you otherwise would if you'd done kind of a more traditional workout. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic. And today, I've put together a really interesting workout. This is a full body workout and we're gonna employ nothing except supersets for every single exercise. So even if you've never done a superset, even if you don't know what one is or have never heard of one, don't worry, I'm gonna explain exactly how to do them. And then also, I'm gonna explain because of the way I designed this workout, we're not just focusing on building muscle, we're also gonna burn a lot of fat. But before I kind of get to all those little explanations and, and how the workout's designed and, and what a superset is, I just wanna remind you guys that you have got to check out our Facebook group. All right, so we it's a free resource, guys. It is, without a doubt, the best men's fitness site on all of Facebook, anywhere, all right? so. And it's, and it's just people like you and me. It's, it's basically men over 40. So we got a ton of guys in their 50s, 60s, and 70s all over the world, okay? So it's not just here in the United States. We got guys in Europe, on Australia, and India, and Canada, and South America. So it's, it's a great group of guys. And you need to click the link below this video and just join because it doesn't cost any money. And also, all these guys are in the same situation as you are. So you're gonna get a lot of inspiration, you're gonna get a lot of feedback, a lot of advice. I'm the moderator of the group. So I'm on there every single day answering every single question. So I urge you to join and take advantage of this great resource we're giving you. All right, now, what is today's workout and what is a superset? Well, guys, a superset is nothing more than doing two completely different exercises back to back without any rest in between. Now, a lot of times, people do supersets with opposing muscle groups. So a lot of times you'll see someone do like a chest movement exercise, and then without any rest, do a back exercise. Now that's a superset with opposing muscle groups, but it doesn't have to be that way. All right, so you could do two exercises back to back with no rest that focus on the same muscle group. We could do two different types of curling exercises that focus just on our biceps, but they're completely different movements, but the only thing we've done is we haven't taken any rest in between each set. So a superset is really a combination of sets, two sets of two different exercises with no rest, simple as that. Now, today's workout I've designed to hit every muscle in our body, all right? And because we're gonna be cramming so many different exercises into such a short time span, all right, we're gonna increase our heart rate, all right, and we're gonna really create a lot of act lactic acid buildup in our body, all right? It's gonna be sore, it's gonna be tough. But because of that, it creates something called the EPOC effect. And EPOC stands for Excess Post-Exercise Oxygen Consumption. I've had other videos where I talk about this in great detail, but another shorter, easier way to think of it is the afterburn effect. So when you really push yourself hard with very little rest and you get your heart rate up, okay, and you create a lot of lactic acid, you create this afterburn effect, which means even after our workout is over, our resting metabolic rate will remain higher than it normally would, all right? If we do just kind of a traditional workout, bodybuilding workout, where we do a set, we rest, do a set, we rest, do a set, we rest, all right? It's great for building muscle, but it doesn't do nearly as much as far as burning calories after the workout's over, all right? Because when you do it that way, your, your, your metabolic rate or your resting rate goes back down to its normal rate within, you know, 20, 30 minutes after the workout. Well, if you do it the way I've designed this program today, It'll keep your heart rate higher. It'll keep your metabolic rate higher, mainly. Not your heart rate so much, but your metabolic rate higher, which means you're just gonna burn more calories for several hours after the workout's over. So you can be watching TV, sitting in front of the computer doing work, doesn't matter. You will actually still be burning more calories than you otherwise would if you'd done kind of a more traditional workout. All right, so here are the three different supersets we're gonna to do today. And it's gonna be a follow along. So you're gonna watch me do them, guys. But before I get down and start cranking out this workout, I need to explain what we're gonna do. So the first superset, remember, is two different exercises back to back with no rest. 
The first exercise we're gonna do is dumbbell chest press. So I've got an incline bench here. You can do this on your couch, on the floor, doesn't matter, okay, if you don't have a bench. I'm gonna be doing 12 reps of every exercise today. Keep it straightforward and simple. So I'm gonna do 12 chest presses. And without any rest, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna put my chest here and I'm gonna do 12 rows. So chest, then back. Those two are done, then I get to rest. All right, you get to rest in between supersets, guys. Catch my breath, take about a 60 to 90 second rest. Then we're gonna go on to superset number two. Now superset number two is gonna be our arms. And these are opposing muscle groups. So we're gonna do 12 curls. And then without any rest, I'm gonna do 12 skull crushers, which hits our triceps. That's the end of superset number two. Get to catch my breath, 60 to 90 seconds, guys. And part of it is not just catching your breath, part of it is allowing your heart to pump that lactic acid that's building up in your muscles, get that waste product away from your muscles so that they can be prepared to work really hard on the next superset. And of course, the third and final superset we're gonna do today <clears throat> is gonna be lateral raises, hitting our shoulders. And then after we do 12 reps, we're gonna go straight down and we're gonna do we're gonna do squats. So I'm gonna hold those same dumbbells and we're gonna do 12 squats, okay? So we're hitting legs and shoulders in our third superset. Now, we go through those three, all right? Those three different supersets, that's a lot of work. We've hit every muscle in our body. Once again, take 60 to 90 seconds rest and you gotta do it again, all right? So basically you go superset one, two, three, that's considered a cycle, okay? or a circuit, catch your breath just like normal, then do it again. So I want you to do two circuits of all three supersets. Now it starts to sound kind of complicated, but I promise guys, if you follow along, it's really straightforward. All right guys, so remember this is the first superset. It's gonna be incline dumbbell presses. And then I'm, as soon as I finish those, I'm gonna turn around, put my chest on the bench and do 12 rows. Now guys, I'm using a much lighter weight than I normally would when I'm working out. All right, so I'm not really fully warmed up, okay? And I wanna be able to talk to you guys and explain what's going on in between supersets. And if I go really heavy and push myself to failure, I'll just be so gassed I won't be able to talk. So guys, pick weight, all right, that is difficult to do for 12 reps. I don't want you to get to you know rep number 12 and just go you know ho home, that was easy. You gotta pick something that's hard to, but you need to pick weight that's also light enough that you can do good form for 12 reps, all right? So here we go, this is, this is just exactly how I want you guys to do it, but I want you to push yourselves a little harder by using heavier weights, all right, here we go. 12 chest presses. Ten. See, I'm controlling the weight up and down, all right? And 12, and you don't have to sprint, but don't take too long. Immediately get to the next movement, all right? Superset number one is done. Now normally, if I was really pushing myself, I'd be much more out of breath, but I'm using a really easy light weight here, so it's no big deal. All right, so while I'm catching my breath during this 60 to 90 second rest, I'm gonna get ready for my second superset, which is gonna be curls and skull crushers. Now I'll lower the bench on this one, or the back, because when I do those skull crushers, I want to be laying fairly flat. Matter of fact, I'm going to lay it all the way down. Now guys, 
I have not been counting here the seconds. Probably getting close to a minute. So you can kind of alter this workout slightly. Just experiment with the rest period because if you're in pretty good shape, especially cardio shape, you don't need to rest a minute and a half in between supersets. But if your cardio is pretty, pretty uh, <laughs> in bad shape, let's say, you might need to rest the full 90 seconds. So here we're gonna go. We're gonna go 12 curls. One. Woo, that was pretty tough. All right, here we go. 12 skull crushers. Ten, eleven, twelve. All right, let's get a rest here. Now, guys, I'm going to move this out of the way because we're not going to use the bench on the next exercises, and I'm going to change the weights. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind is our first superset was chest and back. Well, those are pretty big muscle groups, all right? So you undoubtedly will need to use much heavier weight on those than you would on superset number two, which is biceps and triceps, much, much, much smaller. And then superset number three, once again, small muscle group, especially a lot of raises. You can't lift a lot of weight with your shoulders when you're doing a lateral raise. Now, dumbbell squats, you can switch, all right? Now, even though you're not supposed to rest much, you can go with a light weight here, put the dumbbells down, pick up a heavier pair of dumbbells when you get ready to do those squats. I have adjustable dumbbells and I'll show you how I do it. So, I've got a nice light weight right here. All right, so we're gonna do 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve. All right, so we don't want to rest. You can use the same weight or you can go up in weight, guys. You can use two dumbbells or one, all right? When you're doing your squats, I'm gonna do goblet squats with just a single heavy weight. Now you can use two dumbbells that are lighter and do your squats. That's about four. Ten, eleven, twelve. All right, I get my rest now. Oh man! All right, here we go. Now, guys, that was one circuit, right? We're gonna do two circuits, and each circuit consists of three supersets. Whew. <clears throat> so, you need to be adjusting your dumbbells, all right? Getting ready for chest presses 
and rows. Now remember, I'm going much lighter than I normally would, just so I can try and talk to you guys in between, but push yourselves, guys. Remember, when you get to that 12th rep, I want you really struggling, okay? Otherwise, not only are you not gonna get the full benefits from an anabolic effect, maybe, you know, muscle building effect, but you won't get the full epoch effect either. And that afterburn thing won't work nearly as well. All right, so here we go. Chest press, incline one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 and 12. All right, we're gonna do the rows now, no rest in between. All right, here we go. One, two, All right, let me show you something real quick, guys. If you're not working with a bench here, and remember, you can do incline chest presses, you know, on your couch or the floor or something like that, just using a cushion. But how do you do these bent over rows without that? Just simple. You just bend over. Now, be sure bend your knees a lot, guys. So you're bending your knees, sticking your butt out, and that's how you do the rows right here, all right? Same exact position, I just don't have a bench. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready for superset number two, which is curls and skull crushers. <sighs> Adjust your weights. I'm not changing just to kind of keep it simple so I can continue to talk to you guys, but you're definitely needed to go heavier on superset one and lighter on superset number two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, woo! I can feel it, guys. <laughs> Let's get some skull crushers now. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's ten. Eleven. And 12, Whew. Oh. oh, my shoulders are burning. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a nice little rest here, guys. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oh, I need to put these things down. Oh, this right here, really starting to burn. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing lateral raises based on that previous superset where we we're doing biceps and triceps. I imagine you guys are probably going to have to drop the weight, probably get lighter dumbbells, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you're using adjustable like I am or whether you have separate dumbbells. You're going to know the correct weight for you on each exercise. Now, right now, whew, I mean, I'm getting a full upper body pump. I can really feel it here. And I'm not even pushing myself hard, all right, because I'm specifically trying to, to use light weights with super good form. So I can talk to you guys in between sets here. All right. Huh. All right, that's about ready for my last superset. And remember guys, after this one, we're done. Just do two circuits. Now, some of you guys who really want to push yourselves harder and more power to you, you can do 
three circuits, all right? So you can do this all over one more time. All right, so shoulders and squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, Twelve. Woo! Shoulders killing me. All right, let's do twelve squats. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight. Nine. And 11. All right, here we go. Ah. <laughs> All right, so if I was really doing a hard workout, guys, pushing myself, I would have had to put those light weights down that I did for shoulders, small muscle group, and pick up some heavier dumbbells for those squats because, man, your legs, your lower body, lots of big muscles. All right, so you're going to need more weight. Whew. So guys, we really did work every muscle in our body. Now to a lesser extent, we got our legs, but guys, your whole upper body ought to be burning right now. <laughs> your shoulders, your triceps, your biceps, to a lesser extent, your chest. You should feel a pump going in your back right now. So if you're not feeling that, okay, what I just described, you're either A, not lifting enough weight, or B, you need to do another circuit. So I just did two circuits there. A lot of you guys are gonna need to do a third circuit to really get that full pump and get the heart rate up there high enough that you're gonna get the benefit of the afterburn effect for the next few hours. All right, so guys, before I wrap it up, I wanna remind you, don't waste our free resource, our Facebook group. There's a link below this video, click it, and you won't regret it. And, and the other thing is, guys, if you don't wanna do it, just sign up anyway. Don't use a picture of yourself, and you don't even use your real name. Just join the group and just kinda of participate. You can live vicariously through all the other guys. Plus, you're gonna learn a whole lot of stuff. People are asking all kinds of questions, not just workout questions, we're talking about nutrition questions, lifestyle questions all kinds of things, you know, how to get around injuries. <laughs> so I'm there answering, plus all the other guys are chipping in too, and they're, they're giving their feedback, okay? So that's why it's a really great resource. And then finally, guys, this is a fantastic workout. You can accomplish a lot, but it won't happen unless you always stick with it and never give up on yourself.